In today's video, I am going to be breaking down a Golden State Warriors basketball play that they run for Steph Curry called Blind Pig. Now, you have probably heard of this play quite a few times, whether it be from color analysts or even b-ball breakdown. So let's get down. Let's actually check out this basketball play. If you can run it with your team, and I'm going to be breaking it down on a clipboard as well. So let's get down. Let's check this out. Okay, so basically the first thing that's going to happen is the player along the wing is going to pass that ball to the player who is at the point. At this point in time, what we're going to have is either a dribble handoff, but with the Golden State Warriors, this is usually what happens is a dribble handoff over on this side. And then we have a player who loops around to set what would normally be classified as a back screen on Steph Curry. But instead of it being a back screen, we have Steph Curry who acts like he's stepping out to receive that pass, but instead that pass goes into that player who was going originally to look like he was going to set a back screen on Steph Curry. We get that pass through and at this point in time we have usually a dribble handoff with this player and Steph Curry. Steph Curry would then attack the rim or do a quick attack and step back for a three-point shot. However, if this defensive player starts to fight around to try and disrupt that dribble handoff, what you can have done is now in Instead, take a quick step back in the opposite direction, get that handoff anyways, and jack up that three-point shot. Now, really quickly, pass. There's still a player over in this corner, over here. And, of course, we have that dribble handoff. We have that player loop around to the high post. We have a pass to the high post. Normally dribble handoff, but instead we have a three-point shot in this play. Let's check it out in the clipboard. Okay, so what we would have is player two, this being Steph Curry. We would have Steph Curry make that pass, and then we would have player five, who loops down towards that low post, and at the exact same time, we would have player three and one doing a dribble handoff together. Player three and one would come together, and at this point, we would have player three come off of that screen. And now, we would have player five head up towards that high post. We would have that pass into player five. And then we would have Steph Curry run a dribble handoff where now Steph Curry could attack that rim. If he does attack that rim and player five then switches off, we can have player five come off of that screen and we can have a pass or alley-oop over to player five. Otherwise, we could have player two, Steph Curry, going in for that layup or, of course, a dunk if he ever does dunk it, but we could also have Steph Curry do a quick step back over towards this side, which could draw in player four and two, which could then have player four wide open baseline or three-point shot, but generally uh, Steph Curry would hit that three. Now, what we do see in this play instead is we have player five come up, Player 2, Steph Curry, tries to attack that rim to get that dribble handoff, but Player 2, Red, instead cuts off that dribble handoff. Steph Curry then pops back. Quick pass. Player 5 turns to set that screen, and then Steph Curry can take that three-point shot. This is a very deadly play, but let's look at some other options that we have that we can also run with our teams. So if we were actually running a three out offense, what we could have is a quick pass from wing to point, which is sometimes very deadly. However, how we can make it less deadly is by instead, we can have player one set a screen away for player three, and then at that point, player three would be able to get that ball. Now what I would have set up is player five setting a screen to player one in a few seconds, but first, we want to see player four heading to that high post, and we want to see that pass go into player four. At this point in time, we would have player two set up for that dribble handoff, and he can attack that rim or do that step back over towards that side. As soon as this dribble handoff happens, I want to see a back screen on player one. And the reason for that is if player two was to attack that rim and we had a switch, he could kick that ball out to player one for a three-point shot, which is a great option. 
So that's a quick, simple three-out play that you could run using the very similar aspects of that same blind pig play that we see with the Golden State Warriors. It's not the exact same, but it's very similar. It's also much easier to run with younger teams, especially if you're a, a younger team that does run the three-out two-win offense, which is very popular at times. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out the basically the equipment that I use down in the description below. I really do hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.